New Year's revel revelers, whether you're in Pottsville, New York City, or anywhere across northeastern central Pennsylvania, maybe dealing with a little bit of rain. You took the words right out of my, well, my <laughs> mouth, whether in Garfield Square or Times Square. We're going to be dealing with raindrops at midnight on New Year's Eve, and we'll be dealing with raindrops before that too, Stacy. There could be some heavy bouts of rain on Sunday night, some bouts of rain on Saturday morning, and they might start off as freezing rain. And I want to detail the different types of precipitation that we can get in the winter time. We can have rain, we can have freezing rain, we can have sleet, and we can have snow, and it all depends on the atmospheric components, the different levels of the atmosphere and what temperatures they are. As meteorologists, we like to say that the atmosphere is like a hamburger and there can be different layers with different temperatures. So in this case, when we have just snow, the entire column of air, all of the layers are below 32 degrees. When you have sleet, there's this little thin layer of warm air, a wedge of warm air in the upper levels of the atmosphere that causes those snowflakes to melt coming out of the cloud, become liquid, but then it falls through a colder layer of air closer to the surface and refreezes into a pellet of ice called sleet. What we're dealing with tomorrow between midnight and 9 a.m. will be freezing rain. A nice big warm wedge of air in the upper levels of the atmosphere, almost all the way to the surface. But right at the surface, temperatures at or below 32 degrees, and those surfaces are 32 degrees, causing whatever liquid rain to be falling out of the cloud to freeze on contact with the surface and become ice. And that's what we're worried about. So I want to put this graphic into motion. We're going to go inside of this scene. And look at what could happen. Black ice, when it comes to freezing rain, even a light glaze on roadways or sidewalks can cause some slippery spots. So if you get caught in black ice, you really shouldn't be driving tonight between midnight and 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. But nonetheless, if you have to drive and get caught in black ice, some tips for you. Keep the steering wheel straight, don't brake, and take your foot off the accelerator in order to regain control of your car. Temperatures already falling below or at the freezing mark for much of the area. The only place above the freezing mark at this hour, Renova at 33 and Tafton at 34. Scranton and Forkston too, actually. 34 and Scranton, 35 in Forkston. But we're all going to fall below the freezing mark over the next few hours. Wind sustained less than 15 miles per hour across the region. Right now sustained at 10 up in our northern tier. We're still showing holiday houses. We got two more instances after this one to get your house up on the news. Send them in and I'll make sure to put it on at 10 and 11 o'clock. The lucky one to be showing their house tonight, the Jones House in Ransom Township. And it looks like they have maybe a little bit of a vestige of Halloween there. I think that's a skeleton dressed up as Scanta. Thank you for sending that in the Jones House. You gave me a good laugh tonight. Keep sending in your houses. I'll show them at 10 and 11, and today's the last day of showing holiday houses. We got that winter weather advisory in effect for the northern tier down through the southern tier, the Wyoming and Lackawanna Valleys too. Parts of central Pennsylvania in this winter weather advisory with the result of the possibility of freezing rain. We have a weather impact alert from midnight to 9 a.m., and that freezing rain, as you saw, can cause some slick spots on the roads and on your driveways too. So if you're going out to the car tomorrow morning, maybe to leave where you spent the holidays and go back home, just be careful of those slick spots, especially on the higher elevations on our, on our valleys, on our hilltops, rather. All right, here's a current look at our satellite and radar. We got cloud cover overhead, already some leading showers in western Pennsylvania. They'll, they'll make their way into central Pennsylvania by 10 o'clock and could put down some freezing rain. There is the future clouds and radar. You notice that storm system bringing up warm air from the Gulf so that warmer air in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but the cold air right at the surface going to cause freezing rain. There's the pink, and it will come through between 10 a.m. in central, 10 p.m. in central Pennsylvania, all the way through the overnight, with some slick spots being created as the liquid rain droplets freeze on contact, even through parts of the morning. You're not out of the clear until 9 a.m. when all of us rise above the freezing mark, and temperatures allow for the melting of that ice and the melting of the snow across the region. Here's future ice accumulations, probably a few hundredths of an inch, but you only need a light glaze to cause some slick spots on roadways. And here's your dog walking forecast. That's Kojo, very cute. That Kujo, actually, from Linda. Thank you for sending him in. Love showing the dog walking forecast, but it's not a great night to walk the pup, especially after midnight when there could be some slick spots out on near the sidewalks. There's a seven day forecast. We have a weather impact in effect for your Saturday morning as a result of the risk of freezing rain. Windy and rainy on Sunday. Heavy rain is expected between the overnight hours of Sunday and the early morning hours of Monday, Stacy. And then we got another risk for some rain showers right at the ball drop of midnight. As of the course. clock ticks midnight, we're going to have some raindrops.
and that'll be a problem for those of you in Pottsville and in New York City. Exactly, but at least it'll be on the warmer end. We've yes. had some chilly New Year's Eves as yes, well. Yes, we have. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Yep.